I'm going to do random pulls for Japanese Mahjong, also known as Richi. If you're new to this game and you need to learn the fundamentals and maybe even a little strategy, there are some resources in the video description below. There's a tutorial by Hanayuri Uta, a primer by Dinah Chiba, and a book by Scott Miller. I highly recommend all of those. Also download this player reference so that you can study the Yaku and learn to score as you practice playing Richi. If you're new to Mahjong or if you already know how to play and just want to build your skills, consider subscribing to my channel. That way you won't miss anything. We're going to do six random pulls. We'll alternate between east and south round. We'll roll these dice to randomize which player we are. For the first pull, we're going to be 8, 9, 10 south. We're going to be in south seat. First pull, 9 bam will be Dora. We have a pair of ones and a nine. There's a one, two, three, six BAMs, all singles, chi potential. There's potential chi here too, one, three, and three, five, single honor. So if these were your tiles, what would you focus on and what would be your first discard? If I were playing these tiles, I think I would discard the five crack first. We could either play a pure straight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We're a little light here, but we could maybe play a pure straight. Chi here, this could be our pair. The other idea is to play terminals in all, in which case I would discard these and hold the one, three, discard the four, five. We have a one, two, three already. Pair ones, terminals in all, that's called Junchan. With this plan, we have four discards so I think either way, the five can go. So I would hold the east, because we could even play Chanta, which includes ones, nines, winds, and dragons. See if pure straight comes in. We, we're kind of short here for the seven, eight, nine chi. But I think I would discard five crack first. And both of those plans, really Chanta, Junchan, or Itsu, I think, is what pure straight is called. Itsu. They would all use Dora. So I think that's what I would play for this one. South round. This time we're going to be, well, six. Two, four, six would be south again. Six dot would be Dora. We have three dots, four bams, four cracks, including a pair of sixes, single wins. If this were your dealt hand, what would you focus on and what would be your first discard?
If I were playing these tiles, I think I would discard these first and play Pinfu and Ricci. We have a 3-4 side weight. That's isolated. Here we have 3-5 closed weight. We need the 4 in the middle there. Here's a 7-9. We need a 8. So that's another closed weight. We have a pair here and a potential Chi here. We'd need the six here. One, two, three, four, five blocks. Or we could just do five, six, seven. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Use this maybe as the pair. The other thing I was thinking is if we draw well, maybe even sacrifice the nine and play Tan Yao, which is all numbers two through eight for another Yaku. Right now, we do have some potential for Dora if we get a five dot or a seven dot. Three, four, five, or four, five, six, six, seven, eight. I think that's what I would do. Pinfu, Ricci, maybe Tanyao. We might be able to also do mixed triple chi, which is called Sanshoku. Three, four, five, three, four, five, three, four, five. It's a little light right here, of course. We need a three or four crack. So that might be a long shot, but there's great potential with these tiles. East round. This time we're going to be east since I rolled a five. The progression for dragons is red, white, green. So white dragon would be Dora. We have a red dragon. So there's only two more. We have two BAMs, one and six, isolated. We have five dots, including a pair. Potential Chi, potential Chi. Then here we have consecutive pairs. One, two, three crack. So we have six cracks with two pair, consecutive pairs, no less, and a three crack. So if these were your tiles, what would you focus on and what would be your first discard? If I were playing these tiles, I think I would focus on these, Ipiku, pure double chi, one, two, three. So here's a one, two, three, potential one, two, three. This has to be concealed, but maybe we could do Ipiku and Pinfu. So I would discard the red dragon. I would see if we could get a three crack concealed and then here's a good pair I think what I would do is discard the red dragon and then maybe the one no I would not because we also have the two we could maybe do mixed triple chi sanshoku one two three in each suit plus ipiku and then there would be our pair. So I think what I would do is maybe discard the red dragon and then the six bam. See what comes in. Actually, now that I, no, 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 we need the one. I was thinking we could get rid of the nine, maybe do all simples, but we have a pair of ones. 
I would not try Tanyao here. Plus, we could maybe do one, two, three, mix triple chi. So discard the red, see what comes in. Maybe discard the six if we get chi tiles. We have a pair right there. We have one, two potential, or we have a chi and a potential chi, so that's two. Okay, one, two, three, one, two, potential chi, that's two, three, four. We need more chi's. One, two, three, four. Maybe what we need to do is just focus on trying to complete cheese concealed and then maybe even play Pinfu and Ricci because Ipiku is concealed. So we would have to improve weights. Here's a closed weight and an edge weight. So with Pinfu, you have to have a side weight. Here we have a one, two, three complete chi, and here we have another edge weight. Edge weight, closed weight, isolated. This would be an edge weight. So maybe holding the six would be better because that has a potential for a side weight if something here doesn't come in. So I think regardless, I would discard the red dragon first and then take it pick by pick. Try for Ipiku, maybe Pinfu and Ricci. I don't know if Sanshoku would be reasonable because we only have one of each block. We would need a two or three here and a one three here. And we still would need to come up with a side weight if we try for Pinfu. But we could do Ipiku and Ricci. I think that's doable. If you would do something different, let me know. South round. This time, whoop, I rolled a five. So we're going to be east. Nine dot is Dora, and we have nine dot. Here we have five cracks with a pair of ones. There's a nine. We have six dots, pair of, oh, a pung of fives. There's a one and a nine there. And then we have three bams with a nine. If these were your dealt tiles, what would you focus on? And what would be your first discard? If I were playing these tiles, I think I would try for Pinfu and Ricci because we have a Pung of Fives here. We could do a Chi in there somewhere, seven, eight, nine, or five, six, seven, closed weight either way. Isolated Dora tile, pair, potential Chi, side weight, isolated, isolated. Potential chi either with a one, two, three, or a two, three, four edge versus closed. 
So we would have one, two, three, four blocks. We would have work to do. So for a discard, I think I would hold the one because if we get, if we get three or six or maybe another four, three, four, six, we could split out these fives and use the one as a pair. We would need lots of these middle tiles because we have two fives to break out. Let's just say we had a six or a six and a four, two tiles. We would have one, two, three, four, five. We wouldn't need those or these. So I don't know about these fives. With Pinfu, that might be a problem. So let's see, I wonder if we could do something different with the fives. Okay, we have a pair here. We have lots of ones and nines. One, two, three, four, five, six. I was thinking we could do all simples, but that would be six discards. That's terrible. I don't think I would consider Tanyao here. Maybe we could reach you alone. Just Richie, pair, potential chi, isolated, isolated, potential chi, pair, isolated, potential chi. Or we could say that's a pone, isolated. So one, two, three, four. No, that's not good. Let's see here. I think we kind of need that to be a potential chi. Potential pwn, potential pwn. One, two, three, four, five. Somewhere in there is a chi. Do it concealed and reach chi alone. That leaves Dora, though, as a discard right now. If we were to pair up, I would maybe use that as our pair and just at that point, maybe pwn. So I think for my first discard, I would discard the nine crack. Nine crack. I suppose there's a slight potential for a pure straight, although we're really light with the one and the nine side. One, two, three, seven, eight, nine. Hmm. This one is difficult, I think. This is problematic. This is Dora. I think I would do whatever I can to build around those. So maybe discarding the nine crack or I was also thinking we have a nine crack, a nine, and a seven nine. One, two, three, four pair, leaving us with a discard. With discarding po a pwn, that's terrible. No, I think I would discard the nine crack. Discard the nine crack, maybe do Richie alone, and do my best to either draw in tiles for cheese or go concealed with a mixture of cheese and pones and reach you alone. This one was, I think, kind of hard. If you would have done something different than I mentioned, let me know. Hmm. Ooh. Okay. East round. This time, east. We're east again.
7 Bay Amistora, right there. I think I would go for a half flush here. Honitsu, discard these. There's a potential chi, potential chi, two potential pawns with Dora. So we would need to pair up and pwn or draw in more bams. Or you know what? We could pwn here, here, and here. There's a pair. That would leave isolated tiles though. If we split that out, we can get two blocks. One, two, three, four. All we need to do is pair up. So I would discard these first. Play Honitsu. Half flesh. And that would even use Dora. Last one, south round. I rolled a two, so we're going to be south. Eight dot is Dora. We have a one two bam, one nine crack with a pair there, four dots sequence, single honors. If these were your tiles, what would you focus on and what would be your first discard? If these were my tiles, my first thought was Chanta. Discard those. Four single honors. That is difficult. Because when you have number tiles two through eight in different suits with these single honors, you can't do anything with those. You have to pair up or pwn, pair up and pwn. So I think because we have four of them, I would think that we would be able to pair up at least two. It is the south round and we're in south seat. Neither of these have value. So if we could pair up and pwn a dragon, that's a yaku each all by itself. Here we could chi that's isolated, but here we could use that as a pair or pwn. Here we could chi. So we could also maybe do mixed triple chi with one, two, three. We're light here, of course, but we would have one, two, three, four. All we would need is one of these to pair up. So maybe One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, 13 orphans. I've been told that you shouldn't go for 13 orphans unless you have 10 from your dealt hand. So we're too short. Maybe, mm, oh, that's challenging. Let's see. Yeah, I don't think I would go for 13 orphans. I think outside hand, Chanta. Discard these first. Focus on Chanta. If we get ones and nines and the rest of these singles, maybe play 13 orphans, but I think Chanta would be plan A. If we could get a two crack or a three crack, mix triple chi and chanta. And even with chanta, we could use Dora because we could do a seven, eight, nine chi. Although the Dora indicator is a seven, there would only be three other sevens that we could use. I think I would try for chanta. 
and hope for 13 orphans. One can hope. Anytime I have single honors and ones and nines, I think about 13 orphans. That is a yakuman. The guideline that I've been told is 10 tiles towards that yaku. But if I have eight, I am really tempted. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, consider subscribing. Click the little gray bell if you do. That way you'll get notification for when I post new videos and you won't miss an opportunity to learn a new strategy or maybe pick up an insight to the game that could give you an advantage at the table between now and the next set of random pulls for Japanese Mahjong, also known as Richie. May all your picks be keepers.